21 is a uh, parallel method of reasoning question. This one, um, I, don't, I don't think this one is too difficult logic-wise, uh, but it is very time-consuming um, because all the answer choices talk about the Gupta family and their parrots and fish. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's kind of like a little confusing to get through each answer choice. So it's very time-consuming, but logic-wise, it's not that bad. So let's take a look. We have the only songs Amanda's ever written um, this is past, right? I mean, I point this out, but, you know, hopefully you, you would have realized it when you re read this. Um, are blues or punk rock? So um, either blues or punk rock, right? And, and this, is, this is like past, right? This is past. So most punk rock songs involve no more than three chords. So for punk rock, most of them, right? Most of them maxes out at three chords, okay? So now we conclude from this. The next song, See, the future, if the next song is not a blues, right, future is not a blues, the presumption is, right, I'm not going to write out the presumption, but the presumption made, well, actually, maybe I should write it out. So the presumption is that if in the future you don't write a blues song, Amanda, you're going to write a punk rock song because that's what you've done in the past, right? So um, I guess maybe I'll just write uh, future blue representing the presumption. You're going to write a punk rock song. Right? Okay, so that's why they say it will probably not involve more than three chords. Why? Because mo uh, uh, most because most punk rock songs max out at three chords. That's why they say uh, likely uh, likely is the relationship here that corresponds to the most relationship, right? Based on not, not be um, implies this, right? Implies this. That's the presumption. Likely max out at also uh, three chords. So that's it. So that's the relationship that we need to capture. Let's take a look at A. The only pets the Gupta family has ever owned are fish and parrots. That's great. That's a great way to start this, right? Because in the past, what? You've only got fish or you've got parrots, right? Now say something about parrots. Good. Most parrots are very noisy. So we got this most relationship captured are very noisy. So now stop reading, right? Just you have to, you know, to, to be able to move through parallel method reasoning questions quickly, you have to have the ability to anticipate. Otherwise, you're just letting them, you're letting the currents carry you every which way, right? So you got to be able to anticipate. What must they say? You have to say, the next pet the Gupta family buys, if it's not a fish, right? If in the future, we talked about the past, if it's in the future, it's not a fish, right? Then it likely will be a noisy thing. So if the next pet Gupta family owns is a parrot, is a parrot, come on, that's not, that's, you're not, you're not matching anymore, right? It will be, uh, this is the only really bit that's wrong. They should have said is not is not a fish, right? Then A will be right. B says, most parrots are very noisy. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that, the, fir the first statement estab establishes this bit, right? Most of them are noisy. Most parrots are noisy. Now tell me that the Gupta family in the past only owned uh, fish and parrots. And that's right. Gupta family has never owned any pets other than fish and parrots. Good. So fish and parrots in the past. And then they tell you most parrots are very noisy. So once again, we need to say, if the next pet is not a fish, if the next pet is not a fish, then it likely will be noisy. So the, if the Gupta family has ever owned a noisy pet, come on, what is that? Right, it probably was a parrot, no. C says, all the pets Gupta family has ever owned have been fish parrots. Fantastic, what a great way to begin this. Um, tell me most parrots are noisy. Yep, most of them are noisy. So any pet the Gupta family ever owns, right? Now we're talking about any pet, like ever owns, like for, forever going to the, forward into the future. Right? Here we're just talking about the next one. Right, that is not a fish. Right, you see, maybe you want to keep this one around because I guess it's closer than the others, right? But really, I mean, we're talking about the next song. Here, we should talk about the next pet. Not any pet ever in the future, right? Is not a fish. I mean, the, the rest of it is fine. It's not a fish. Will likely be be noisy. Will likely be noisy. That's fine. But it just it's not right. You see, it's it's this is this is a bit that makes you uh, weird and ultimately wrong. D says, every pet the Gupta family has ever owned has been a fish or parrot. So a great, same, same way to begin uh, this again. Most parrots are very noisy. Same deal. Most of them are noisy. So if the next pet is not a parrot, it's not a parrot. Oh, come on. It should be it's not a fish, right? So close. Uh, but it's not good. So E is our last answer. Must be right. The Gupta family has never owned any pets other than fish or parrots, right? Fish, parrots. Uh, most parrots are very noisy. And the next pet will... Um, probably be very noisy they just decided to tell us this bit first it's sentence structure grammar wise right this bit came first if it's not a fish fantastic right the presumption being not a fish presumption being that it will be a parrot right that's why it will likely be noisy